Hi everybody and welcome <coughs> to my sixth, sixth and last regular match of the Dominion League this season. Um, there might be more, but we'll get back to that later if we manage to win this one. So um, we're playing against Marcus and let's see what we have on this first board. So there's catapult for trashing. <coughs> there's no villages, which is a bit sad, but it's all right. Um, I guess we're gonna open catapult mill. Try to hit five for maybe a sculptor. <coughs> Could add in a livery later. Oh, he gets to open five too, which is nice. Of course, um, and yeah, we want a sculptor as well. Catapult misses, um, but that's all right. <coughs> now, do we want a second catapult? It goes for the patrol, alright. Hmm. I think we'd like to get a livery later. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, second catapult might be nice, right? We do wanna thin down a bit, but problem is we're gonna be over terminal, I think. But we can just sculpt silvers and attack with catapults, and that's pretty good, so... Well, <laughs> and then this happens. Uh, that's really not ideal. Alright, I'm just gonna sculpt a silver, and... And let's trash a copper here. And buy a silver. And here, if we can afford it, another sculptor. Now we can. Alright. He's got a villager, so if he draws something, he can play it. Here we are just gonna sculpt a silver and buy a mill. Catapult attack doesn't hurt us here. Gets another sculptor too. Uh, now we have a villager which is good. Um, we're just gonna be firing catapults back and forth I guess. Because it's really annoying. Gets a gold. We draw our second catapult, but it's fine. We have a villager and we're gonna get rid of an estate and a copper. Don't wanna be don't wanna be trashing silvers just yet, I think. Um here we're just gonna get a gold as well. I don't know about delivery, um we wanna play these catapults. Oh, that was a really nice patrol patrol for him. Maybe we're gonna get one too at some point. Um, the thing is that we have these two catapults that we wanna be, wanna be playing, but maybe we can manage. And he gets his first province, okay. I 
Troll is also nice against incoming curses. Um, it's probably gonna province again. Okay. Uh, don't discard. Well, we do discard right and get a silver. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, we get a gold. I mean. And soon, I think we wanna be trashing. Could also be a patrol, but maybe we get that on five. Uh, let's hope he doesn't attack us here. Well, if he does, we can just sculpt. Okay. Um, so silver, silver. Um. We want this to be a patrol. Um, let's get a gold. And here just a province. Uh, I think this can be a patrol. And now we want to curse him. And add in a patrol. Um, being behind in those Provinces is a bit concerning. Just gonna sculpt here and trash the silver. And buy a mill. We have put three curses in his deck so far, which is good. I guess we can discard, sculpt a silver and buy a province. Alright. Okay, this is really nice. You see the patrol. Um, hmm. So, do we go for the province here? Um, we have a province on top for the next turn. If we, well, it's not guaranteed yet we have to draw one, but this is looking good. Uh, thing is, that she doesn't help a lot because if he buys another province, um, we're out of luck. So maybe just go for it here and hope we don't get attacked because then we miss province. This is not good. Uh, this is certainly not good. Yep. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's just one of these games. Gonna be his start. Yeah, that wasn't great, but I don't know. There's not a lot we could do there. Needed him to um, miss province a few more, few more times. Okay, what do we do here? Uh, again, this doesn't have any villages. We're gonna open remakes certainly. Maybe get some highways. Remake and a vagrant or do we want a silver? No. 
don't think we need a silver. Gets a camel train, okay. And is he one day changeling? No. Um, I think we're just gonna go with a vagrant. Um, this could be camel train. We can get some highways, get some gold, and then just province. Once we're trashed down, He gets two silvers, which we will, well, we won't be able to trash two estates, but, um, yeah, let's get a camel train here. Exile, don't want to exchange. Uh, let's hope the vagrant finds the estate. Okay, exile's a highway, that's what we also want to be doing. Oh, he did find, did find it, and we want a second silver. Mm, it's gonna be a lot of silvers. I go with. I think we'll we're gonna go with another vagrant for now. Gonna be gaining the silvers of the, the remake, the states. Thank. Exiles, another highway. <laughs> Alright. So, do you wanna buy a highway or a gold here? Gold, it's gonna go, we're gonna get two golds into our deck, which is kinda nice. So, let's get the gold. Here, I think, we can remake camel train into a remake and the estate into another camel train. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this changeling off too. Uh, and now we can add a patrician because we got some targets for it. Probably gonna get the highways into his deck now. Um, well, yeah, remaking the bridge. And we wanna start on them as well. Um, the gold should help with that. Okay, there's a remake. I think we can remake into changelings now. Um, the golds are bottom decked here, which isn't great. Uh, let's hope we can draw one and camel train a highway. Nope. Oh, this is sad. 
Um, do we just remake? Let's just remake. Uh, this is cool. Um, gets to remake his coppers into vagrants. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but better than nothing, certainly. We want to get some highways as well. Alright, so here at least we can get two. And here... These changelings aren't doing anything. Uh, we can remake the remake into a highway uh, to get the last one, I guess. Well, if he doesn't get them all, uh, he does. Uh, that's not good. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is this is not good. A eight to two highways. So, what are we gonna do? Don't need two remakes anymore, but now the only target is pillage. Uh, I guess we, I guess we'll get it, and this into a bridge, and another patrician. We're gonna keep this changeling, I guess. It can become a gold. So I don't know what we've got going for us here. Maybe we're a bit thinner because we should have played remake more often. Oh, he gets his first province. Okay. I guess we'll, we're gonna play the pillage now. Um, so what do we discard? Highway or gold? I guess the highway because it draws. And just the patrician. Alright, so this did stop him from doing more stuff. And This is hopefully going to be a province here. Exiles a pillage. Okay. Okay, there's the changeling, so we can at least. Um, Get a gold there. Oh, and there's also one in exile, so that was pretty good. Um, got two golds into our deck. We only have two highways, but maybe 
we can make the more money-ish approach work. <coughs> We're gonna keep these spoils. I'm gonna keep these spoils uh, because they're a good card for our deck. Um, or maybe he plays a pillage and discards a gold, in which case we need to need to play them. But no. Huh. If he plays enough highways, he can remake stuff into provinces, then we're dead. Now he's gonna find a pillage, I guess, and discard the spoils. Gets a duchy on um, another patrician. Gonna discard a highway, I guess. Um, let's see if he hits province here. If he doesn't, that's good. Okay, maybe we can. Uh, can it find a gold? Nope. I think there's a gold. Nah, that should be spoils, right? We have. Nah, we, we did see two spoils. We saw two gold, so the bottom card should be gold, uh, which means, yeah, we're not gonna play the highway to get all this, so all this nice stuff can get back in our deck. Okay. So again, what what did he see so far? I think he's just gonna hit province here, but again. If it does, we're lost anyway, right? How are we gonna catch up? So we just need to go for it again. Um, but we need him to miss now, and that's not very likely because his last two turns. Well, I guess he did see two golds, some amount of highways, uh, but he doesn't need that many. You can just find his spoils. Yep. All right. GG. So that's as many games as we can lose. Um, we need to win out now if we want to have a chance at the at a championship. So let's see if we can do that. Um, so what's this? We could transport, we could bargain. We could bargain for a haggler. Could also transport a haggler. Haggler certainly seems nice because it's an additional gain do we wanna transport it or do we wanna bargain it is the question we're gonna give him a, a horse but this way we can also get an encampment
which uh, I guess it's basically the same as like if he does the transport thing instead of bargain then he's gonna have a horse and a haggler haggler on top we're gonna have haggler encampment So that's pretty much the same difference being that his haggler would be on top, which I don't know how much of an advantage that would be. It goes for alchemist, okay, because they're draw, right? But encampment is also some kind of draw. We can get alchemists later. Well, this is nice, of course. This is nice, transporting alks. But we can also do it. Do we want to do it though? Because if we draw the Haggler, um, transport won't do anything for us. Hmm. We do want some ox, I think. We can just transport them whenever we don't have the haggler. Yeah, this is. I think we we keep on transporting. We want to discard them with a potion, I think. Like here, we can get um, potion encampment. Uh, not feeling too well about this thing. His approach, I like his approach a lot more, I think. He has all those arcs now. Oh, luckily we found our potion there. Uh, do we even play this encampment? Well, I guess if we find the Haggler, it's fine. Alright, so all in all, we got four Alchemists, which is alright. Uh, Yeah. Well, this is looking fine-ish, I think. So we want another haggler and haggle for encampments. Yeah, I think this um, the opening he chose was just better, but. We still ended up in a somewhat okay spot. He 
did bottom deck his Haggler here, which is really great for us. Um, we're just going to buy an encampment here. We want many of those now. He's gonna get two. All right. Do we play on? Well, we would really like to top deck the Alks, but we need to find our gold in there. Or the potion. Um, what else could we get here? You could add in a wall for a bit more draw. What's in our discard? There's like five coppers, gold, potion, and an encampment. So that's eight cards. If the gold is in the top four, we are good. Or if the potion is on top, we are also... Well, now there's also overgrown estate and hovel, right? Uh, thing is, if we don't top deck the Alks, we might be sad on our next turn too. I think we play. Uh, now we now we need to go through. Didn't find anything. Oh, that's real bad. Didn't find the gold, I mean. <clears throat> That's really bad. Um, so what are we gonna do now? We can get back one em encampment next turn, but that's it. And he's not gonna lose them. So I guess Platinum for two highways or something. Could also be Chariot races, but I doubt they're going to do much. Yeah, this was real bad, but I don't know. I felt like we needed to do it because maybe he bottom decks a Haggler. That would be good because then we can at least get back two, and it seems like he did. So I felt like we needed to go for it because if we don't top deck the Orcs, we might just lose the encampments anyway. On our next turn, gets a vault, okay. So let's hope we can find our Hagglers. There's one. 
Well, at least one. And now we're just gonna call on E. But we didn't find the potion, so that isn't great either. Um, so this what's down there? Overgrown estate and a copper, I think. A highway, okay. So, pretty sure this is gonna be. This is not gonna turn out well. I mean, well, we'll see what we can do. But he's he's never never gonna dart right with this this deck that he has. Yeah, he just built it better, going from the early arcs into the encampments. If he had managed to keep them, he might have been fine, but we didn't, so that's that. And now we're also trailing on colonies. Um, guess we're gonna get chariot races now. Maybe they can help us. So we need him to not find like potion on a turn. But he should have enough draw. Uh, to get through his deck. Yeah, he does. Oh, we got a color need block. That's nice. Okay, so he did lose an encampment there. Many, many encampments. Okay. Uh, that needed to happen sooner though. Now it's too late. Is that all his chariot races? Oh, no. Oh, what's down there? Eh, we're gonna stop here. Well, no, because we wanna buy a province at least. But that should be it. There's 
no way he's gonna he's gonna miss 11 here especially with that vault right you can just discard down all right good game so that's it for our champion match ambitions I guess yeah that's just how it goes I guess um, this last game we didn't play all too well or he just played it better played played the better opening the first two didn't feel like there was much we did wrong but there probably was so um, let's focus on the game at hand <clears throat> again there's no village except summon mm. but summon is awkward in that there's no buy except animal fair and that is only buy once a pile is empty so this is all awkward um, we want to hit trading post do we even uh, do we want a scavenger scavenger experiments or do we want experiment silver and play with another terminal yeah, let's get experiment silver. He goes for double experiment. Mm. It's also an option, of course. Gonna go with the experiment silver. Hope to hit five here. <laughs> He did get there. We didn't, but next turn we will. So we are gonna put more experiments into this shuffle. Although this is nice that the experiment bottom decked, so the trading post will actually go directly into the shuffle. And we see it right away, which is good. Which is good. Gets more experiments. So this is seven. Um, could be stonemason for stuff. Could also just summon experiments. Does that even work? I think it does, right? With the, the the changed rules, it does. Could also buy an animal fair for seven, but that's not inspiring. Yeah, it did work. Okay. Okay, nice. We found the trading post again. And maybe we're just gonna do it again. Trading post some some more, then at some point get an animal fair and just green. So here we seem to be ahead. 
we trashed more we played our trading post twice to his one play got rid of our all of our estates so far so it should be like a turn ahead well, this time we did summon two Here we couldn't find the trading post. We could stone Mason for animal fares now. Mm. Could summon again. I think there's one experiment left down there. Uh, let's summon once more. We want to play the trading post once more, I think. I don't know if stone mason for animal fares even makes a lot of sense. Or maybe it does. Maybe it does. Because one animal fare is four dollars, then we only need two silvers to hit province. Oh, I think that's alright. Okay, let's do it now. And now we just province. So he's got three experiments left, I think. He hasn't been playing all of those, I guess, because he always, well, maybe they might have just bottom decked. Might not have been a conscious decision. He does have one estate for the tiebreaker. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, so here we would like to summon, but we also want to buy a duchy, I think. Uh, we can we can stone mason one of the animal fairs into two, two duchies, actually. So let's summon. Oh. Oh, he's done Masons, okay. Well, we could stone Mason this trading post into experiments and buy a province. There's an animal fair down there, which doesn't make much sense for us to draw, so we just leave it there. Um, well, if he hits province here, I guess we have to take the tie. Maybe the stone mason should have been experiments tunnel. I mean, it doesn't matter a whole lot at this point, right? But that would have 
would put us in a better spot here. Oh, does he stonemason for... Uh, he's gonna stonemason for tunnels now, I guess, and buy a province. Uh, in which case we can't take it a tie. Uh, so we're gonna have to, again, hope that he doesn't hit 8 on his next turn. Which... Uh, well, maybe he's gonna go experiment tunnel by province to have a better chance at hitting 8 next turn. He shouldn't have any experiments left now. Okay, it just goes for the two tunnels. So we just need to be lucky now. Alright, didn't find it, so this should be our game. Yep. Okay, so we get one. Let's see if we can at least tie this one up. Um, I mean, for us it doesn't make any difference anymore, but... But it would be nice to go undefeated, right? So, let's try that. Now this is a board. Um, this is one I like to play. More so than the others that we saw. Hmm. The opening... Uh, well, the opening is easy if you can just open with 5-2, but 4-3 is pretty sad. Um, Silver storeroom, maybe. Double silver. Would like to hit. A captain isn't even great, right? <clears throat> uh, later we wanna play with lurkers. Well, captain is alright, of course, but. Um. We wanna play with Lurkus later. We want an academy. And then just go from, from there. Let's go double silver. Lurker Lurker might just be really sad. If you can pair them it's not, but if you don't, you're just sad. And also we wanna hit 5 for academy at some point. Maybe he goes silver lurker, but uh, it's also not that great. This could be a lurker now. Okay, for six. Guess we're gonna get captain anyway, right? It can be a lurker, it can be a storeroom at the start, start of turn to get through our shuffle faster. Then we wanna add a livery at some point. We wanna get academy. Oh right and so there's canal, so captain actually it doesn't suck as I well I I didn't think it would suck, but I thought it wasn't all too great. But with canal it's really great because it can play five costs. So First village, alright. So Captain is just uh, great, as usual. Um, I think more, more lurkers. Gets a livery, okay. Alright, so here we can Lurker for a livery or another captain, maybe. Let's get another captain into this shuffle. 
and don't think we want to buy a storeroom. The captain can be storeroom. Yeah, like here, we're just gonna storeroom all all this stuff away. Um, so more captain, or well, maybe cursed village now. We want some draw. Uh, we really want to hit these price points too. Cursed village and more lurkers, maybe. Uh, that didn't do anything. Maybe that's a bit overdoing it on the lurkers. He gets the canal now. Um. Let's not actually trigger the shuffle here. Uh, just go one deeper and more cursed villages, I guess. Uh, oh, that hex sucked a bit. Here we can get Academy, which is gonna be worth it, right? So you don't really need it now, but maybe we do want it because then we can play storerooms before cursed villages, for example. Okay, this is great. This hand is great. Um, now we can get a livery. Or maybe just more captains. Place a cartographer. Okay. Hmm, do we want more captains? Do we want a livery in there? We want to hit seven, but maybe we can do that here. In which case, captain is just better. Um, I think we play this as lurker. I think there should be another lurker down there, right? No, we only have three, uh, so we don't want to play this captain as as lurker. We want to hit seven now, um, which we can do right with two storerooms. Let's not cycle here, just this card. We have more lurkers, okay. I... That was wrong. Well, do we want to play them here? What's on the bottom? It should be... Should be... 
silver silver estate which if we draw it uh, we, we need to hit 7 now so let's not play the lurkers because we can't hit 7 if we play them right we can only hit 6 if we play them Right, we draw silver, we have a copper, it's five, and we discard once, that's six. Canal now. Could be another lurker. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um so this can be just um storeroom storeroom discard cursed village Well, let's see if we can find a cursed village first. Could also be um, well in that case. Well, let's cycle. Well, actually, now it can be something different because the second captain can be cursed village. Um, could be livery now. And we're just gonna gain more captains. Alright. Gonna gain this guy and a grand market I think and let's cycle a bit okay so this captain can be locker for grand market get this Uh, we're not gonna play this lurker because we don't have any left. So what are we gonna buy now? There's some horses in our discard and junk, but also captains. Uh, maybe we can try to get there. What's in our discard? To copper silver estate, copper estate. And some amount of horses and two captains. So I guess it's worth it to trigger. Um, what do we lurker though? We might not be able to find captain. Guess we can lurk a car cartographer. If we don't get there, it's alright. Okay. Let's get uh, two liveries. And a cursed village. Oh, 
That might have hit a captain. This way it was pretty friendly. So there's another captain down there. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if these liveries were the best buys, to be honest. They should probably have been council rooms. Because we might just have a finish here. Well, we'll we're gonna see. Maybe we're just gonna play these captains as council rooms. And then we can lurk uh, piles down. Yeah, I think that's how, um, how we're gonna start out this turn. Just captains as council rooms. And we should have no trouble um, finishing, I think. Uh, he's probably gonna green now. So maybe we won't be able to finish. I mean, anyway, a few greens should still be enough, right? Can get rid of these cursed villages via lurker place, and we then have enough buys for to empty the rest and buy some green as well. And he doesn't even green, okay? So this should be trivial, trivial, I think. Okay. Um, gonna council room again, I think. These lockers get rid of the cursed villages. Yeah, this is easily enough. All right. Yep. Okay. GG. <clears throat> so maybe we can win the last one as well, and then at least we got a tie. Even if it's not enough for uh, the champion the championship match, but then at least we'll be 
undefeated this season, which is also nice. Um, so what's this? Again, uh, no villages. So villages have been a problem for us today. Only one board where we had them. I mean, what do you do here, even? Just money, I guess. Money with some pixies. You can reap. Oh, he gets the silver, okay. Could play with like a single wild hunt or something. But I don't know. <coughs> Could also play with a noble brigand. Oh. It's a bit sad it can't snipe goat. Or oh, maybe it's good that it can't snipe goat, but that would be funny. We could do it. <coughs> Yeah, maybe Noble Brigand is alright. Could snipe his silver. Try to, at least. And then if it's money, the attack is relevant. It doesn't necessarily have to be all money, but... I mean, what else do you do? Some patrician stuff. Patricians and Emporia. Hmm. That does score a bit. Yeah, let's just go for it. Didn't get the silver, unfortunately. Let's see what the brigand can do. Gets the smugglers. Okay. Uh, we want that. Uh, it lets us hit six for a gold. Um could also just buy another pixie. Um don't think we need a gold right now. Just get more pixies and keep attacking. Flames gift is nice. Getting thin. Um, but maybe it lets us hit his stuff better. Uh, that doesn't do a whole lot for us. <laughs> this noble brigand is so sad. Maybe it's gonna do something at some point. Smugglers is probably the better terminal. Oh now there's two silvers for us to hit. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, let's take that. 
Oh, that also. Uh, this we're gonna keep. Uh, no silver. Now we just buy a gold. Probably should have bought the brigand later if you wanna play with it. It's a wild hunt, okay. Yeah, sure, let's take that. Let's also take that. Find our brigand. Oh no, it gave him copper. This could be Reap, Pixie, Patrician. Probably he's gonna get to smuggle a gold now. No, maybe smugglers is bottom decked. So we're through the the boons. The moon's gift was there earlier. <coughs> he can slowly accumulate some points on this wild hunt and take them later. We're just gonna green now I think. Or maybe another reap first. Yeah. Maybe we just green. I mean, we do have two golds so far. The plan would be to get some more by hitting his stuff with Noble Brigand, but that hasn't worked so far. There's a gold down there. Probably also some amount of coppers so maybe let's reap once more so we can hit yeah like we can hit um eight again let's see if it takes the forest's gift we should we, yeah, we should have one more pixie, which is also down here. So there's a gold, a gold and a pixie down here, and these are our last four coppers. Um, this brigand has certainly been sad. Uh, didn't manage to hit anything so far. Just gave out some coppers. Um, we're just gonna trigger here. Alright, let's take that. And now we green. So maybe we can hit some of his good treasures now. Uh, he does have some gold, some silvers now, which are there for us. Nope. Um, just green.
yeah, this brigand hasn't been doing anything. But we gave it a shot. Uh, this is especially sad. Missing eight. Let's take a duchy. Uh, the thing is, he has these points there, uh, sitting there, waiting for him. And that's already more than a duchy. So his deck is just better now. Um, we're not gonna draw here, are we? He's probably gonna province wild hunt take points now. Oh, don't know if he can afford a province. Probably not, otherwise he would buy it now. No. Alright, so we just buy a duchy here. Oh, we get a silver. Good job, noble brigand. Um, oh, gets the smuggle the duchy. Oh well. We're just gonna click on duchy now. Uh, he's got a gold on top, which means he will probably hit 8 here now. Especially with that wild hunt play. Um, oh, just an estate, okay. That's she for us. So, this brigand experiment did not turn out well. Just didn't do anything for most of the game. Ooh, what? Wow. <laughs> Alright. I guess we. So, I guess we do tie it up after all. That. I don't, this last game I didn't underst understand what happened, but I, I guess he didn't have any stuff left. So, well, that's just short of making it to the championship match, but I mean, 4-2 we would have 
needed to play a tiebreaker with NA Smith, which we don't get to play now, but at least we got through the season undefeated and we had a pretty good season, so don't think we can complain there. Um, anyway, thank you everybody for watching and listening and guess I'll see you next season. Goodbye.